Lacases are multi-copper containing enzymes, capable of performing one electron oxidation of a broad range of substrates. They are able to oxidize both phenolic and non-phenolic ligand compounds, and because they use molecular oxygen as the final electron acceptor, only water is released as a byproduct, so it produces far less chemical waste than other alternatives. Lacases are commonly found in wood rotting fungi and are also found in a variety of molds, insects, as well as some plants and bacteria. Due to this, lacases have begun to be used widely in varying industries such as pharmaceuticals, textiles and biofuels, but we will be focusing on the use of lacases in beer, wine and fruit juice. The simplest case of lacase catalysis is the one in which the substrate molecules are oxidized to the corresponding radicals by direct interaction with the copper cluster. The lacase catalysis works as follows. First the substrate binds to the T1 copper and is oxidized. Then the electron is transferred from the T1 copper across the molecule through the intermediary T3 copper to the T2 copper where the O2 binds to the T2 copper and is reduced to water. This is the simplest case of lacase catalysis. Often the reducing substrate has a particularly high redox potential or is too large for the active site of the lacase and can't be oxidized directly. This can be overcome by adding redox mediators, low weight molecular compounds that act as an intermediate substrate. Their oxidized radical forms are then able to interact the more bulky or higher redox potential substrates. In the beer industry, fungal lacases are most commonly used. Lacases can replace PVPP, which is used to remove haze, where beer goes cloudy. However, because lacase reacts with O2, it removes excess O2 and other polyphenols that might react with the fatty acids contained in beer, giving the beer a longer shelf life. Due to its structure, PVPP does not biodegrade easily and produces waste containing many complex compounds. Lacase, on the other hand, is a natural enzyme and its only byproduct is water, so is far more biodegradable and produces less waste. It can also be added to the wastewater produced from making beer to break down complex non-biodegradable substrates. Some styles of wine are made from grapes infected with noble rot, Brotiasis cinerea, and these have naturally high levels of lacase. This is generally a negative, as lacase presents a huge oxidation risk and is very hard to control or inactivate. However, there are three potential uses of lacases in the wine industry. First, deliberate hyperoxidation before fermentation to remove easily oxidizable phenol compounds. This increases the stability of the wine and prevents discoloration in the bottle. Secondly, as with the production of beer, there is the potential to replace PVPP with lacase. The main issue with both of these is the inability to inactivate lacase. Pasteurization is the best method, but this is not suitable for the production of quality wine. Further development could increase the potential of use of lacase in the winemaking industry. Finally, lacase from M. thermophila is being commercialized for the treatment of cork closures for wine bottles. The lacase oxidizes phenols and the released phenoxyl radicals undergo non-enzymatic homopolymerization, avoiding cork taint. This oxidative polymerization also modifies the cork surface increasing its hydrophobicity and reducing the extraction of substances into the wine. Lacase is also commonly used to stabilize fruit juices. Juice contains naturally occurring phenols and their oxidation products, which affect color and taste. The natural polymerization and co-oxidation reaction of phenols and polyphenols over time result in undesirable changes in color and smell. The color change referred to as enzymatic darkening, increases due to a higher concentration of polyphenols naturally present in fruit juices. Treatment with lacase causes the removal of phenols with higher efficiency compared to other methods like activated coals. The substrate enzyme complex is then removed from the juice via membrane filtration. 
Using lacase is a green alternative to activated coal, as the coal has to be heated in the presence of gas in order to become porous and trap phenols. This of course produces CO2 and other gas waste. The use of lacase in drinks production is still being researched and optimised. However, if more efficient ways of inactivating lacase were available, it would be a highly efficient green alternative that produces very little waste.